Hello, my name is Dr. Joel Muscolino, and welcome to this navigational video for Anatomy Masterclasses, AMC. When you first open up the AMC site, you will find that there are 12 folders here. There are three pink folders for muscle anatomy and physiology. There are three orange folders for bone and joint anatomy one blue folder for visceral anatomy, a green folder for musculoskeletal lectures, a purple folder for pathology, and then three yellow folders, one for self-care and exercise, another for manual therapy skill sets, and the last one for non-video content. Essentially what we have are three muscle anatomy folders, three bone and joint anatomy folders, one visceral anatomy folder, and one green folder here for lecture presentations. This is the anatomy body of anatomy masterclasses. In addition to anatomy knowledge, we have pathology knowledge, and then we also have folders for more advanced topics that might fit in other classes in your curriculum or indeed fit for you once you're out in practice. Let's return now to the muscle anatomy section. We have three folders that are arranged regionally, upper extremity, lower extremity, and axial body. If we pick the upper extremity folder, for example, and we open it up, we will find that there are four modules in the upper extremity, shoulder girdle, arm, forearm, and hand. Choosing the shoulder girdle module, we open it up, and what we will see is we have a number of muscles here, as well as one bonus lessons folder. If we choose one of the muscles, let's say pectoralis minor, and we open it up, we will see that there are going to be one, two, three, four, five videos. Having five videos is the typical presentation for each muscle of each module of each region. We will have the first three lessons described as core lessons, animated illustration, cadaver, muscle actions, and then the next two videos will be described as elective lessons, palpation, and stretching. Coming back up here, if we wanted to take a look at the animated illustration for pectoralis minor, we will see it's approximately 50 seconds long, and we can turn this on now. We have an anterior view of the right upper trunk region, and we are looking at the pectoralis minor muscle. For context, the coracobrachialis muscle has... The sound is coming through my computer speaker, so it would not be the quality sound that you would have. We can bring ourselves forward, farther in, and as we watch the different aspects of the video play out, we will start to see that the attachments are being highlighted, that the course of the attachments from one end to another will be shown with arrows that move. This is why it's called an animated illustration. We also have the choice of going to our closed caption subtitles. For this particular video, we have English subtitles. We also have it translated into Spanish, French, Italian, Polish, Portuguese, etc. Many languages. You could choose a language and place it there, and then you could play, and we would see that the subtitles would change with the translations. Come back out of here. And let's go to none. And I can also make a point here that if the speed you're first learning and you want it to be a little slower so you can absorb the information a little more easily, you can go to speed and change it, let's say, to three quarter speed. And then you can play it. N5, where these ribs meet their costal cartilage. From there, the pectoralis minor 
runs distally. So we do have the choice when we're learning to play at a slower speed. The same basic idea is true for the other videos. The cadaver video, you have your choices of translations or transcriptions. You have your choice of speed. The muscle actions, displaying the muscle actions, the muscle functions with a live model. We have here, we can see that that's a bit longer at 4 minutes and 33 seconds. There's a very nice thorough palpation video topping 11 minutes and then the stretch video that is a specific stretch for the pec minor at a little bit more than six minutes. We can back out and we could go to the arm or forearm module, hand module, and do the same thing there. And backing out, we could do the same thing for lower extremity or axial body. When we look at the bone and joint anatomy, regions. We have again upper extremity, lower extremity, axial body. And if we choose the upper extremity, for example, we will see instead it is divided into animated illustrations and skeletal bones. The animated illustrations will be divided based on the bones of the upper extremity here. And if I choose scapula, for example, we will then see that we have anterior view once and twice. A regular one, three minutes in this case, a quick review, about a minute 16. Then we have the same idea for posterior view, a regular video and then quick review. The regular videos will include muscle attachments, whereas the quick reviews will not. And you can look down here, we have lateral views, superior views, so we have choices of what we can see for the scapula. And the same is true for the other bones of the upper extremity animated illustrations. Backing out from there, we then have skeletal bone videos. Again, if we go to scapula, we see that we have one video of the scapula and then a quick review. The video of the scapula that's full length is a little bit more than 10 minutes. The quick review is a little bit less than 5 minutes. And again, we have the choice of looking at closed caption subtitles and changing the speed. And then we have me teaching the scapula disarticulated away from the full skeleton, a very thorough 14-minute video here, or a quicker review at about 7 minutes. So in each region for the bone and joint anatomy aspect, we have the animated illustrations and the skeletal bone videos. For our three regions, upper extremity, lower extremity, axial body. Now moving down to the visceral anatomy, this is what I would describe as essential visceral anatomy for manual therapists and movement professionals. We have 14 visceral systems that are covered. If, for example, we go to the cardiovascular system, this lecture is approximately one hour, and we can see that we have the start here. We then have the heart, systemic circulation, capillary exchange. You can skip forward heart sounds, cardiac conduction system, etc. And it will be me actually teaching the lecture. And then if you want, you can click here and you can open up to view side by side with the video lecture presentation. Or if you want to download and print the actual PDF slides that I have up on the screen here. The essential visceral anatomy for the major visceral systems of the human body. We then have lecture presentations, musculoskeletal lecture presentations. There are 27 of them. And when you open it up, you will see them from very simple parts of the human body through to skeletal tissues, fascia, joint terminology, joints of lower extremity, attachments and actions of muscles, functional groups, how muscles function, roles of muscles, neuromuscular system. So from square zero all the way up to advanced applicable topics, common 
postural distortion patterns, even stretching. And then we have three other lectures that are bone palpation lectures. So if we were to choose, for example, fascia, we have here a four hour and 45 minute lecture teaching fascia. We can go to our intro start, section 4.1 fascia, section 4.2 the fascial web, fascial response to physical stress, etc. We have lengthy kinesiology topics being covered here, and all in all we have a bit more than 200 hours of me actually teaching the topic, similar to the way we showed the visceral anatomy. Again, going to functional groups of muscles, we would have me teaching the functional groups. And again, you could always navigate and skip farther into glenohumeral joint, elbow joint, radial ulnar joints, etc. We're in functional groups of muscles of the upper extremity there. Again, this is the major anatomy and physiology portion of anatomy master classes. We then can go to pathology. We have pathology videos. There are 31 of them. Such pathologies as patellofemoral syndrome, piriformis syndrome, shin splints, tennis elbow, etc. And these tend to be shorter videos, eight minutes, three minutes, two minutes, etc., that cover certain topics of musculoskeletal pathology. And then we have a whole series of e-booklets that cover the major musculoskeletal pathologic conditions of the body. Leaving pathology, we can go over to self-care and exercise, as well as manual therapy skill sets and non-video content, which really aren't core curriculum, but would be applications of core curriculum. But we include these in Anatomy Masterclass to fill out why we're learning the anatomy and physiology. An entire folder on body mechanics for manual therapists, on self-care for clients that once we are practicing therapists, instructors, trainers out there, we might want to impart for our clients. There are 80 of these, a fitness training section, and two very nice uh, folders on yoga and Pilates. Then we go to manual therapy skill sets and we have stretching videos here, stretching the neck, stretching the low back pelvis, and stretching and joint mobilization for the thoracic spine. And these are each full DVDs. Each one is an hour plus. We have 18 different videos on posture, we have a number of full routines for manual therapy, various Thai massage routines, manual lymphatic drainage, Lomi Lomi massage from Hawaii, Balinese massage that I filmed when I was in Bali, Cambodian massage I filmed when I was in Cambodia, aqua therapy, etc. And then we have full clinical orthopedic manual therapy workshops comped workshops. And we have a series of these. Each one of these is usually approximately a two-day workshop that I have taught. So this lays out how to navigate our site for anatomy master classes. 12 folders of core anatomy and physiology curriculum, as well as advanced topics of pathology and other applications. So I hope when you come into Anatomy Masterclass here, you now have a comfort with how you can navigate looking for the content you're looking to find that will match with the classwork and homework that you are doing at your school, at your institution. I hope you enjoy and you learn Again, my name is Dr. Joe Musculino, and it's my pleasure presenting anatomy masterclasses for you. Thank you.